This is a 2012 Ford Edge with the new updated My Ford Touch system. This also has the new navigation system in it. You'll notice in the navigation window, it has the compass visible now. Okay, it shows us which way direction we're pointing. And when we touch this corner, it opens up to the map. Now the map has three views, and that is directly in front of you, okay, bird's eye view, okay, or dead north and it shows which direction your vehicle is pointing. Okay? My personal favorite on this new system is the bird's eye view. And over here you can go zoom in or zoom out to get a better view. Okay? Of what's around you. But you have I like the nice uh, street labels and in this case all the gas stations are showing because we have less than 50 miles to empty. So all the all the gas stations show automatically. Okay? but it's nice layout, good view, and we can go up here and touch the screen if we want to change where we're looking. And it'll swing the view around to the other side. Also shows the addresses of where the center point is. And we can always touch this screen up here to take us right back to where our car is. Okay. You'll notice down here on the screens, it also shows us what's playing on the radio station what phone's connected up here, and what our temperature gauges are set at down here. Okay? Now, up here, if we hit destination, we have our different choices. So we can set our home destination. That's empty. So you hit yes, and you can put it in by street address, intersection, or your previous destinations. Okay? We're going to go back. And so if we hit something, do something by street address, we have to put in the street name first. Okay, so we're going to put in Boardwalk. Boardwalk, space, Avenue. And we're going to North Boardwalk Avenue, Kansas City, Missouri, and number 8501. And that is Thoroughbred Ford. And we can save this to our favorites, set it as our destination, or set it as a waypoint. So we're going to save that to our favorites. Okay. Now we go back up to destination. We can look at our favorites. And there's Thoroughbred Ford. Okay. We can also go to an intersection where we put in two different street names. We go to previous destinations. It'll show us a list if there's any previous destinations that we've been to. We go to city center, where we just type in the city we want to go to. So if we wanted to go to Weston, and then we can set that as our destination, set it as our waypoint, or save to favorites. Okay, can we go back to destination? Points of interest. Okay, and this would be fuel stations, banks, restaurants, accommodations, or parking. We can also uh, search area or search by name. We can search by phone number. If we put in phone number, we can put in phone number. And then we hit enter, and it shows us our choices. Thoroughbred Ford. And we hit that. And again, we can save it to favorites, set it as a waypoint, or set it as a destination. Also gives us the phone number up here. So if we have a phone connected, we just hit that and it dials away. Okay. We'll go back to destination up here. We can go, this takes us back to the map. If we hit emergency, it shows us hospitals and police. Return. We go down. We go to previous starting points freeway entrances. This would be every freeway entrance inside the uh, state where we are. So if we go to I-29, dash 29, north, this is 
every freeway ent exit from I-29 in the entire state. You can just page down and look at them. Okay. Return. And then we can also get our longitude and latitude and put in specific longitude and latitude to get us to a certain location. And then we're back to the beginning. Can we hit the home? And it takes us back to the beginning. Okay. We can also do all of this by voice. Or in this screen up here, we can go down to navigation. We get our compass. We get our favorite destinations, recent POI categories, favorite POIs, previous destinations, emergency. And we go right in here and it'll download our favorite destinations. Or we can do it by voice. Mm -hmm.